this simple little open source project that's a lot of fun and hopefully you could use it to build something cool and if you do please please send me a copy and, and let me know what you're working on so the first thing I want to talk about is this Swift radio settings file. I'd ask that the first thing you do is actually go to Last FM and get your own API key. It's free, and that will allow you to download album art. And there's lots of other information that you can download from Last FM. Um, certainly, if everyone used the same API key, we'd be uh, throttled out pretty quickly. And then here, it lets you have the option using a local stations list or actually having your own stations list on your own domain and the json file is just a standard text file so it allows you to put the name of the station the stream the image url which could actually be a local image as i have here or it could be something on a website as so and uh, the code will check to see which one it is and download asynchronously. So then you have your description and a long description, which is actually on this info detail. It will display a long description for this. And if you're not a programmer, it's pretty easy to add and edit this stuff. You can just, if you wanted to add a new station, you could just copy, copy and paste and, you know, put something here like, I don't know, this is a local radio station here in, in Denver and just change all this data accordingly. Of course, um, you'll want permission to before you include someone's radio station in your app. And these radio stations are, are just for demonstration purposes. There's a default image uh, that comes with it, so you can kind of see how it defaults down through the, the layers. And the same thing with the album art. If the album art isn't there, then it will display the actual station image. If there's no station image, then it will display a default Art. So there's lots of redundancy in here. Uh, the two main uh, view controllers here are the stations view controller, which is kind of your initial view controller, which lists the stations and it basically just loads the JSON and lets you choose a station. Uh, there is some, it goes down here to your detail, your station cell here, and then you're now playing is where the most of the magic happens. Uh, some interesting things on here. It updates the lock screen. So here you can see how it, it adds a track artist, track title, album artwork. It actually receives um, control notifications. So if someone presses the pause button on the lock screen, then you can handle that here, or the play button and what have you. And that's pretty cool. And the code's set up so that you could use this as a front end for um, some other streaming routines, or if you have like a professional radio SDK that you bought, or someone's, um, radio SDK that you're using like TuneIn or what have you. It's really easy to do this. Most of the good ones are uh, built in Objective-C, but I've tested it with a few and it works really well. So it allows you to kind of build the interface here and easy to use Swift and still have a really robust backend. But if you're interested in just doing it straight in Media Player, this this is self-contained and it will will play and, and work um, rather nicely, um, especially for a demonstration program. Here we have a data manager, which will let you load JSON and make some API calls. And you can repurpose this to use with maybe the iTunes store. And maybe once you get the metadata for the song name and title, you could go out and get the, the buy link in iTunes, what have you. Maybe add a favorite section um, using some of this data here. And of course, some simple structs and classes to get you going. Well, I hope you have a good time, and if you make anything cool, my web domain is matthewfetcher.com, or you can follow me on Twitter at GoFetcher.